Nashville district employee is receiving notoriety for his work with supporting St. Jude Children's Hospital while at the same time juggling to overcome personal adversity. David Quint is a Labor and Management Employee Relations Specialist responsible for guiding leadership on HR issues that affect the organization. In his off time, he adores and cares for his seven children. Even with demands for his time, he volunteers to help kids beat cancer as a way of honoring his sister. I do that additionally because my sister has an oligodendroglioma. That's a fancy word for a brain tumor that isn't going to get better. It's not treatable. And so many families are affected by cancer, mine as well. So why not help children who are affected by cancer? Thus the relationship with St. Jude. The former naval officer is a St. Jude hero known as the juggler. During the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital Rock and Roll Half Marathon in Music City, April 30, 2016, he literally juggled three hacky sack balls along the 13-mile route, drawing as much attention as possible to the worthy cause. Danny Thomas opened St. Jude Children's Research Hospital about 50 years ago when I was born. At that time, 80% of children didn't defeat their disease. Their disease defeated them. But thanks to the generous donors over the years, and about $2 million will be ra raised for this race alone. Over the years, all these generous donors, now 80% of children do defeat their disease, and that's something to run and juggle about. About 15 years ago, Quint had six titanium screws and rods placed in his spine. Doctors even used part of his hip bone as a graph to reinforce his neck during spinal fusion surgery. His volunteerism also benefits him because he needs to stay in shape. I didn't used to work out so much. Now I do, because I have to. If I get overweight, I'm going to have major back problems. So to solve that and avoid pain, I exercise. Since I have to exercise, might as well have some fun while I'm doing it. He learned the fundamentals of juggling when bored standing watch as a young midshipman at the U.S. Naval Academy. It took him decades to perfect running and juggling not to mention learning how to steer clear of street hazards. Um, when I first started to run and juggle, I dropped him about every 100 yards, then every 200 yards, then I went a whole mile, finally, without dropping him. And then I knew if I had to run a race somewhere, it wasn't going to be in my familiar ground track, where I knew every crack in the sidewalk, every angle of the curb. So I changed my focus to out there, and use my subconscious mind to catch them. I drop them every 10 yards, then every 20 yards, you get the idea. Quint said he is excited with the huge impact he and so many others are making in terms of cancer survival. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District in Nashville, Tennessee.